When I heard there was going to be a fourth installment of one of my favorite junior high flicks, I was so excited I went out and bought an apple pie to celebrate. Unfortunately, American Reunion wasn't even worth the price of buying an apple pie from McDonald's. Yeah, American Reunion is the next chapter in the lives of our favorite cast from the 90s, and everyone's back. American Reunion takes us to the lives of Jim, Kevin, Oz, Finch, and the Stiffmeister. I thought back to when I first saw the original in seventh grade and how in love I was, but that was just the thing. I was in seventh grade. I was hoping that the end of this quadrilogy would be all the rest, but all it did was retell the stories from the first film. Come on, these people, and not to mention the writers, are 13 years older. I feel like the dialogue could have been far more advanced, and it almost seemed like a screenwriting major wrote the script while still in college. I was also expecting the film to harken back to the fun you saw from each character's stories, but each story only had about three minutes, with the majority of the film being the crazy shenanigans they get into, and then all their problems are solved. Obviously, the writers and directors know what brings them money these days, and they realize that it is not a movie that honors their adulthood, but one that is an homage to how old they are, and a competition to see how many crude lines Stifler has. While the movie had its entertaining moments, I'm deeming it not worth the price of admission. So just Netflix it in four months. What'd you think? I'd have to agree with you. Yeah. Uh, like you said, I think I would like the movie if I was 13 again, or mm -hmm. if, I, you know, if I was in seventh grade, I think I would probably have been there it, opening it night. It would have been the greatest movie you'd yeah. ever seen. Yeah. Like, uh, these are amazing jokes. Exactly. But yeah. I'm not. Like uh, I mentioned uh, to somebody yesterday that Harry Potter did it where they grew up with their audience. Yeah. The movies grew up, but this didn't. Yeah. They were still aiming at that young teenage audience, which they shouldn't have been. Yeah, and there were like those filler lines between um, Allison Hannigan's character and her friend where it was just like, how much did you let the guys drink last night? Hand me the paper towels. Yeah, just, and those, I was just like those cheesy there's, lines. Th these characters could have had so much more depth than going on. Like, you're older now, they have jobs, they had a kid, who we rarely saw, too, yeah, by the way. Like, for five minutes, maybe, yeah. if, if that. Yeah. I don't know, it was, they, they, like, uh, they should have explored more of, like, their relationships, mm -hmm. uh, like the guys. I mean, that really wasn't a part of it, really. Like yeah. you said, it was more of right when they got into some weird situation, they just took that on for 20 minutes. Yeah. And it, that kind of took up the bulk of the film. Mm -hmm. And at the end, they tried to wrap up all these emotional storylines between these guys and how they were growing yeah. up and they missed each other. And they tried to, like, like tie that up in the last yeah. five minutes. And it was like, you could have done that through the whole thing. I would have loved to seen more with like um, with Kevin and Vicky's characters because it was just like all of a sudden they were friends and then they were in a fight. Yeah. And they really had like no no scenes together. It was just you know a couple of them, and then we're supposed to like imagine the love between Oz's character and Heather right away. Like yeah, the two, they, they yeah. just jumped right back into it. Those couples, they yeah. didn't. They really didn't do enough with them to yeah. make me like it. And you, and you know they're gonna do another one. Yeah. There's, if there's money to be made, they're gonna keep making these. Yeah, and this, and, one will, and this one will make money because it's funny and it's got those jokes. Yeah. And it, although my favorite part of the movie is a um, little, little cameo from Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, yeah. He's that, everywhere. That was probably the best part of it. Yeah. But so if, if, I mean, if you, if you like him, if you like Neil Patrick Harris doing cameos, go see this movie, but otherwise, I would say Netflix it. Netflix it, yeah. So leave us a comment and tell us what you liked or didn't like about American Reunion. And be sure to follow us on Twitter or check us out on Facebook. If you want to check out more reviews and celebrity interviews, head on down to FrequencyTV.com slash POA. 